Josh has done some very bad things. And he's, he's very sorry. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 shocking TV show scandals. Cause I'm me, I'm different. I just have a different constitution. I have a different brain, I have a different heart. I have a different, you know, I get tiger blood, man. For this list, we'll be looking at behind the scenes behaviors and controversies that tainted popular programs. Which scandal shocked you the most? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Farah wanted to quit Charlie's Angels. When this hit crime drama aired in 1976, Kate Jackson, Jacqueline Smith, and Farrah Fawcett starred as the empowering lead investigators. Good morning, Angels. Good, Good morning, morning, Charlie. But before the end of the debut season, Fawcett decided she wanted to walk away from the show, despite having signed a five-year contract. Her resignation resulted in a lawsuit from ABC against the actress. Ultimately, Fawcett was grudgingly released from her ABC contract and her iconic role was replaced. Hi! Well, I'm here. It's me. Who? <laughs> Chris. Chris Monroe. Given the show's success, Fawcett's desire to leave came as a shock. But a combination of creative and personal aspirations served as motivation to move on to bigger and better things. Fawcett left the series after only one season, hoping to capitalize by jumping to the big screen. Number 9. Jeffrey Tambor Accusations – Transparent Although the Amazon show followed Jeffrey Tambor as the inspiring Mora, the actor's behavior behind the scenes was apparently anything but admirable. Allegations against Tambor were brought to light by colleagues. An investigation was launched that uncovered more than a few stories of bad behavior. While the actor admitted he had issues with his temper and mood at times, he vehemently denied accusations of harassment. I worked for Jeffrey Tambor for uh, just about two years on Transparent and a few other projects and movies. And um, continually, I was always harassed. Regardless, show creator Jill Soloway acknowledged Tambor's actions had created an environment where those around him were uncomfortable and fearful. The actor was subsequently fired, and he never made a full return to the show. I'm no longer playing Mora. I'm going to miss her very much. I'm going to miss that cast that I love so much. Number 8. Big Allegations And Just Like That Sex in the City was a breakout hit with impressive longevity in pop culture. But allegations against Chris Knopf, who played the iconic Mr. Big, have left a disturbing mark on the show's legacy. Several women came forth after the original series wrapped and alleged that Knopf had assaulted them. In the wake of multiple accusations against the actor, he faced immediate career consequences. The former Sex in the City and Law and Order actor dropped from his latest television role, CBS firing him on Monday, effective immediately. While Noth's Mr. Big did appear in the revival series and just like that, his character had a fatal heart attack. That event was actually planned before news of his misconduct broke. But once the allegations emerged, the scenes he shot for a fantasy sequence with Carrie was subsequently scrapped. Number 7. An HR Investigation – The Goldbergs Since 2013, The Goldbergs have delivered familial comedy in their beloved sitcom. Not the wiper! He's just swatting everything around! What is this? Come on! But in 2021, Things didn't seem so wholesome behind the scenes. Series lead Jeff Garland suddenly left the ABC favorite in the middle of season 9. Colleagues alleged that the actor's language and physical behavior on set were inappropriate. There has been an HR investigation on me the past three years. HR has come to me three years in a row for my behavior on set. However, Garland refuted the claims and believed his sense of humor was misunderstood. His denial of the alleged misconduct couldn't save his job on the show in the end. ABC released him from his contract and killed off his character before the upcoming season. Now a mutual decision has been reached that has Garland leaving the show immediately. Number 6. Jussie Smollett's Felony Charges – Empire At its peak, Empire was the musical drama that enjoyed massive viewership and acclaim. Hey, look, at, look at my dad. 
That's a real artist. Well, he was. I was more concerned with selling T-shirts and watches and whatever. Although actor Jesse Smollett once played a key role in the show, his exit was mired in controversy. The actor filed a police report stating he had been threatened while the fifth season was running. After submitting that evidence, news broke that Smollett was attacked in what appeared to be a hate crime, and persons of interest were arrested. I'm pissed off. What is it that has you so angry? Is it the, the attackers? It's the is attackers, it but it's also the attacks. However, deeper investigation uncovered evidence that the actor had staged the assault with the help of two men. Smollett's actions caused the show to leave him out of episodes he was supposed to appear in during season five. Despite the negative press and his time in jail, Smollett is choosing to focus on the positives and express gratitude for his family for standing by his side. Number five, the racist tweet, Roseanne. After Roseanne achieved popularity as a beloved sitcom in the 90s, a continuation was announced in the 2010s. What happened? I thought you were dead. I'm sleeping. Why does everybody always think I'm dead? You looked happy. I thought maybe you moved on. The sweet success of the show was incredibly soured thanks to an incredible, unwarranted series of social media posts from lead actress Roseanne Barr. One of the most shocking tweets she issued was a racially charged post where she compared a government official to an ape. Forgive me, my joke was in bad taste. Almost no one thought it was funny. Within hours, ABC pulled the plug on the show. While Barr tried to play off her comments as a joke and blamed a sleep aid for her remarks, those explanations didn't fly with fans or the show's creators. The actress was swiftly fired, and the original show plans went out the window. Although a follow-up show called The Connors was greenlit, it killed off her character. It's been three weeks since Granny Rose's funeral. Why are people still giving us casseroles? Number four, Josh Duggar's Disgrace, 19 Kids and Counting. The TLC reality series centered around the Duggar family was no stranger to controversy during its run. It's really hard. <laughs> it's happy and it's hard all at the same time. But no one expected the dark revelations that would emerge. In 2015, news began circulating that Josh Duggar inappropriately touched five victims. Four of his targets were his own sisters. They say they've been victimized again by being publicly dragged into the scandal. Additionally, it was later revealed that Duggar was also in the possession of illegal videos that depicted young people in mature situations. While the statute of limitations prevented him from being prosecuted for his initial round of crimes, the reports led to the show's cancellation. The disturbing details in sharp contrast to the family's squeaky clean image. Duggar would later be arrested for possessing illegal media. Number three, revelations about Louis C.K. Various shows. Comedian Louis C.K. successfully created a self-titled show where he wrote, directed, and produced while serving as the titular character. So, where do you want to go? What? You want to go somewhere? Where do you want to go? What is this, a cab? We're at the Bronx Botanical Gardens. We're going to the Bronx Botanical Gardens? So, TBS was definitely willing to air his animated project called The Cops next. But CK's dark actions put those plans on hold. Throughout 2017, it was reported that the comedian had exposed himself and performed mature acts in front of female colleagues. I wanted to do my job. Those opportunities are few and far between. I most certainly didn't want to be the person that was responsible for shutting down a production. While CK alleged that the encounters were consensual in early statements, he also acknowledged that he took advantage of his A-level status during those incidents. The misconduct claims spelled the end for the cops before it began. Additionally, his voice performance was removed from Gravity Falls. His show Louie also did not return from its long hiatus. I also took advantage of the fact that I was widely admired in my and their community and brought hardship to them when they tried because people who look up to me didn't want to hear it. Number two, Kevin Spacey's firing, House of Cards. 
A strong turn from Kevin Spacey as a politician without a moral compass drew tons of viewers to House of Cards. When it comes to the White House, you not only need the keys in your back pocket, you need the gatekeeper. However, fans started looking at the show in an entirely different light when a wave of allegations emerged against him. Around the time House of Cards was renewed for a sixth season, actor Anthony Rapp alleged that Spacey once made an inappropriate advance at him. I hope that uh, everyone who's dealing with these sorts of situations does feel the courage to uh, come forward. Although production was initially just frozen, the House of Cards lead was completely removed as more reports of his troubling behavior towards other people started to circulate. The final season continued without Spacey's character. However, the actor reprised the role for a highly criticized YouTube video where he tried to win fans back. I know what you want. Oh sure, they may have tried to separate us, but what we have is too strong, it's too powerful. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Charlie Sheen's Behavior – Two and a Half Men while Charlie Sheen starred as one of the leads in Two and a Half Men, his erratic behavior was the subject of numerous headlines. Charlie? <laughs> Who is that? Damn telemarketers. But the show creatives were initially flexible and paused production so he could take some time to attend rehab in 2010. However, Sheen continued to act out and even insulted the show creator, Chuck Lorre. In 2011, executives decided that the situation was no longer sustainable and let the actor go. Your anger and your hate, I think, is coming off as erratic to people. Passion. My passion. It's all okay, passion. Okay, your passion yes. is coming off as erratic right. to people. Right, well, you borrow my brain for five seconds and just be like, dude, can't handle it. Unplug this bastard, yeah. Not only did the show continue with Ashton Kutcher in a starring role, but they also held a funeral for Sheen's character. The creatives made their feelings about the situation clear again in the series finale. It featured a scene where Sheen's character was crushed by a piano. <laughs> Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.